Howdy y'all and welcome to Lex Lives. I think it's time we play a little Seven Days to Die. Oh, I think I can jump out of here maybe. Don't hurt yourself now. Oh yeah, nice. Nice. Uh <laughs> so I guess we're up for another day of exploration. Let me fix this axe though. Turn my headset a little bit too. It's really loud. The uh, there's a couple of different things I use. They don't uh, have volume settings on them, so they're always either really too loud or really too quiet. And uh, so I was in the Google Hangouts, and it's really quiet. I mean, it's turned all the way up, but it's still really quiet. Look at that. Perfect magnet grip. Better take that with me. Just in case we ever accidentally find the recipe book. Probably won't, but we might. Uh, <laughs> so. What was, who was I talking to? Oh. Yeah, they, they, uh, we have a uh, dish television here. And, uh, it uh, used the, what are they called, hoppers, DVR hoppers, and uh, I've already been in there. Apparently I'm going the wrong way here. And so you can record three things at a time, but if you record <sighs> three things at a time, all you can do is watch what's being recorded, or, oh, I have a broken leg. Or you can watch what's on or what's been recorded. I have totally got lost in my splint. That's what I need. Make me a splint. I don't have the materials for a splint. And I'm not carrying a splint, apparently. Okay. Now, well, I got a bum leg. We'll have to make sure to watch out for some cloth. And, uh, so we were, we were upstairs eating dinner, uh, was it last night? No, it could have been last night, a couple of nights ago, and, uh, I have not been watching iZombie, but, uh, someone else in the house has been watching iZombie, and, uh, it was coming on, but there were too many things on, and so it swapped to something else, um... And, uh, man, you thought it had been the end of the world, all the whining and crying over that. Uh, shut the TV off, throwing stuff across the room, yelling at the dog. I'm like, really? Really? Can't ever watch anything, it's always something's recording. Really? One, one time, every once in a great while. Did you say anything? Say, hey, are you actually watching this, or can I swap you out? No. No, we have to act like a big child. Aww. I've already been in this place? Is this the house I just jumped out of? It is. Weird. I must have went in a different door. Bizarre. Uh, because we usually talk about things like iZombie on here. Made me think of that. And uh, you know what? I'm going to go see if we can't find some coal. So that I can make a... Uh, make a torch. I don't know how to get tallow yet. Um, I don't seem to... have a recipe. I heard something. I was trying to see if I could find what I heard, but I don't see anything. Um, yeah, I, I really haven't got into that eye zombie thing. It is... I know I said I was going to. I, I didn't. I just have not been able to bring myself to watch it. 
Uh, been watching a lot of the bridge show Shameless. I had watched most of it a while ago, uh, a couple of years ago probably at this point, and um, I see they've got new episodes, a whole new season, at least one season, maybe two that I haven't watched. And so I can't remember anything that happened or which season I left off on, so I started over. I've been powering through those, um, thanks to Netflix. I'm on season six now. And, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty funny. I, I laugh a lot watching that thing. Um. Alright, I am not seeing too much in the way of black streaks in this stuff. We might have to dig down. Try and get to something. Did I bring a shovel with me? I did. Awesome. Oh, you know, there might be some, uh... Ah! Seriously, man. <laughs> the reach on this stuff is longer, I'm pretty sure, than what I'm used to. I'm gonna relearn how to fight in this game, I guess. Let's see? Ridiculous. I... Uh, that was irritating. I know I'm stunned. I'm dead. Can we... Thanks. Uh, I couldn't hit that guy from a far enough distance to uh, stay away from him there. Alright, so I've got a shovel. Um, I don't have any coal, though. Oh yeah, see, that's a better grip. Shotgun piece. Where are you? Iron fragments. Some of these got room for iron fragments. Iron ore and uh, no, nope, still iron and iron and ore in there. You know what I could do is well, I can't because I don't have any. I don't have any planks. Uh, what about you? What are you cooking up? Nothing. You're just cooking. Alright. And do I have a pot in here? So let's take you out, swap you for cookware, give you some bottled water, and this coffee, and make up some new tea here while we're at it too. Uh, I expected that to split in half. Uh, I guess I'll grab some iron here and make a new axe, and we'll go get some wood while we're here. Uh, tools, fire axe. I need another stick. I can't remember how to play the game. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Fire axe, craft. Uh, so, another thing uh, I've been watching, I just started, and I am not going to get the correct name of this thing, uh, but start a new anime series that uh, is on Netflix um, called Gargantia and the Verdant Planet or on the verdant planet, or something like that. Pretty good so far. Um, I've been enjoying it. I'm a, I'm a huge mecha fan, so... Uh, the first... <sighs> that's iron. I don't have anything to mine it with anyways. That's my pit of iron, maybe, that I was digging out? Yeah. Get this tree here, though. And, uh, it's, uh, it starts off and there's, uh, whoa. I didn't expect that to happen. It starts off and there's, a uh, huge fleet in space where all the remaining humans live. 
and uh, they're at war with an alien species called the something or another. I don't know. Um, I know it starts with an H. The head is a uh, head is Zuni something. I don't know. And uh, so the uh, pilot of one of the uh, mechas uh, is involved in this uh, attack on some giant space station by the aliens. And, uh, so the aliens look like giant plants and snails. Uh, and uh, so they go out and they attack and uh, they're trying to trying to uh, drop some kind of weapon, I think, against the alien base, but it's uh, protective shields and it's super weapon respawn faster than they expected after they attacked it with the human super weapon. And uh, so they had to retreat and the kid um, the kid was too far away to uh, hitch a ride back and uh, so he had to fly separately back to the retreating fleet and um, he uh he fired on the weapon so the alien, or no, he was going to, but the aliens absorbed it. Um, that was their big fear, I guess, was that the aliens were going to absorb the power from it. And so they, uh, <laughs> they got the weapon, and then his commanding officer came back and, uh, told him he had to go through, and the commanding officer was going to hold off the aliens so they couldn't get through the portal. And just as he was about to get back to back to base, um, the all right, the uh, aliens they uh, they hit him uh, and knocked him off course, and uh, so he wound up not landing on the ship. Uh, but crashing into the side of it, and so when it went through the portal that it opened, you know, the wormhole, um, it, uh, he got flung off someplace else. And so, I forgot to click cook on that stuff. Dang it. <laughs> I wasted those sticks for no reason. And so... Uh, when he wakes up, he has, uh, he has been found and taken back to another ship, and, uh, but the people are, like, scavengers, and so they're trying to tear apart his mecha, but the technology difference is too great, and so they can't even, they can't even open the mecha. And so he, uh, uh, he doesn't speak their language, which is pretty cool for a show to incorporate. Uh, usually they don't incorporate that kind of stuff, but, um, and so he, uh, he winds up, uh, Really? That's not the recipe? What's the recipe for a storage chest? Oh, it was the recipe, just in the wrong spot. Uh, and so he finds out that he is on the fabled homeworld of the humans, Earth. Uh, which had been lost a long time ago. Uh, due to um, an ice age. They had left because of an ice age. But it turns out some people stayed. 
and uh, now they live on giant ships uh, because the um, the ice melted and now the entire planet is covered in water and so uh, it's pretty good so far uh, I've been enjoying I only watched a couple episodes but I've been enjoying the episodes I've watched so uh, nice little occasionally I find something good on there to watch it's on Netflix um, they've got a couple of things on there right now I wouldn't mind watching I think I forgot to hit cook again, didn't I? <sighs> Coffee can get me there, but I don't know that coffee will bring me back. Uh, and uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's pretty good. Uh, I really like the um, Knights of Sidonia. That one's pretty awesome. Uh, actually, they're really similar in storyline. Um, they're both the last remaining vestiges of humanity are on board a giant colony spacecraft traveling through enemy alien territory. Um, both are about a mecha pilot. Um, I guess the huge difference is that he's trapped on Earth now. Uh, whereas the other one, uh, the kid is, you know, still on the Sidonia. Uh, if he's not dead, I can't remember. I think the season finale, because they only got one season on there, is uh, him being destroyed? Blown up? Maybe? Maybe not? I don't remember. It's been a while since I watched it. I was going to read the uh, manga uh, that it's based off of. Um, a lot of animated shows from Japan. China, Korea, those places are actually uh, animated versions of comics. If you're not aware, you should probably be aware at this point. Uh, anime is pretty prevalent, so uh, I'd be surprised. Well, no, I wouldn't be surprised. Around here, there's probably a lot of people who aren't aware what anime is or isn't. Because I live in the sticks, the moonies. <laughs> uh, I was talking about with a friend here the other day about uh, this is pickup country and I don't own a pickup I have friends that make fun of me because I don't own a pickup that's how uh, in the sticks I live uh, I don't see the point of a pickup I um I don't carry a lot of things. I don't go off-road. I don't tow things. Um, I'll stick with my car. Thanks. I can't believe you drive a car. You look like a truck guy. That's what, that's what one of them says. You look more like a truck guy. I don't know why you think you gotta drive that car. Oh, and even better, I have a four-door, uh, which they also made fun of me for getting, but it is so comfortable. It's actually the second, <laughs> the second Impala I've owned. It's the most comfortable car I've ever ridden in, or driven. Well, I don't know about driven. It could use a uh, steering wheel on it. Is a little uh, not spaced right for my hands, but. Um, it's definitely got the most comfortable seats I've ever seen in a car. It's, I don't know. I like it. I like it a lot better than a pickup. I have another friend, he, uh, he likes SUVs, so he always buys some kind of SUV. Um, I don't know. Not really a fan of those. The seats are always too close together. Uh, I don't like it when, uh, when you get in a car and your knees brush the whatever. That's why I like my car. I can get in there in the, well not the back seats obviously, but in the front seats and my knees don't touch the uh, dashboard.
which is awesome. Most people's vehicles I get into, my knees will be pushed against the dashboard. Not that I'm that tall, I don't think, but vehicles are designed around the average height of people, and I'm slightly above average. Alright, I'm about, what, four or five inches above average? <sighs> Which makes getting in and out of cars difficult sometimes. That's alright. I still manage. <laughs> Although, <laughs> I, uh, I had to go to some meetings for work. And, uh... <laughs> so, um, it wasn't just me, this, uh, this woman from work. She had to go to the meetings, too. Uh, and so, I went by myself the first time, and, uh, she, uh, she didn't even know I was attending the, uh, the meetings until she got there, and then she's like, what are you doing here? I'm like, well, I was, cause we're, uh, we're in different areas, and, uh, so she, uh, she had to go for her area, and then I had to go for my area, and, uh, it was training, um, only because we we uh, train we train people and so we had to go to training for trainers and uh, so she uh, she was in there for her what she works with and I was in there for what I work with and, but they have like big open meetings at the beginning where everybody meets together and then you split off into your own uh, what they call them disciplines and uh, <laughs> So the second time we had to go to the meeting, she wanted to drive together, and she's like, I'll drive. I can pick you up. I'm like, well, that's fine. I'm like, I could drive. And she's like, well, no, that doesn't make any sense, because you're on my way to and from, and oh, dang it. Uh, and then I would have had to have, uh, you know, driven out of my way to go pick her up. So that's fine, whatever. And uh, so she shows up, and she's got a minivan. And so, um, it's like, I, I don't think the time of day matters, but it's really early for me in the daytime, like 6.30 in the morning, and so I'm already not thinking straight, and so I climb into the passenger seat of the minivan, and uh, I can't get my head in the minivan. When I go to sit up, uh, like, you know, you put your leg in and then go to slide in the seat, the top of the car is hitting me in the shoulder and even as far as I could scrunch myself down all I could do is put my neck against the side of the car and so I probably tried for three minutes and she's like what are you doing I'm like I can't get my head in your car she's like are you kidding me she's like well maybe you need to move the seat and so we adjusted the seat and stuff like that and, um, and then after probably not three minutes but after a minute of try to fix the seat so I could get in um, I just got out and got in head first uh, but it was funny <laughs> she's like I can't believe you can't fit in my car I'm like well maybe you should drive an adult sized vehicle <laughs> uh, but that is definitely the smallest door on a car I've ever tried to climb in uh, although my brother has a has a little pickup that's uh, really not that awesome to get in either. Or he had. I don't think he has it anymore. You know, this is explaining why I can't get in and out of combat if I've got a broke leg here. Oh, he's going to get me. He's going to get me. Oh, I really... It's getting worse. The break broken leg is getting worse. I need cloth. I don't see any cotton anywhere. Uh, I need to put my crossbow on my hotbar is what I need to do. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I don't think so, lady. Oh. So 
Somebody needs to put some aim things on this, uh... I don't know what they're called. Maybe a scope on my crossbow. Uh, that's not what I was thinking of, though. Iron sights. There we go. Need some iron sights on this thing. Oof. Hitting pretty good there. But, uh... <laughs> Yeah, we uh, we probably went down there four or five times uh, in her minivan. After the first time, I knew well enough to get in head first. It's so tiny, so tiny. Not that she was tall or anything. Uh, she's really short, which I guess makes sense that she would own a tiny, tiny, tiny vehicle. Um, yeah, I didn't get any cool chunks out of that, did I? I forgot what I was doing here for a second. I gotta fix my broke leg first. So, let's get my broke leg fixed and then I can go hunting for coal, I guess. If I can manage not to let the. <sighs> I was running because this is broken leg movement. That's right. That's right. Uh, well. I think I'm going to go ahead and, uh, oh, there's some cotton right up here if I can get this hill. Can you get this hill? I got a shovel. I got a shovel that I should put on my hotbar if I'm going to use it. Um, and then, you know what? <sighs> I didn't want to go to the meetings in the first place, and the meetings were, they were for my, my training section, but they were for people who are in management over the people in my training session, not the people who actually are instructors like me. And uh, so we get down there, and then they're talking all this stuff about deciding what needed to be done, and budgets and equipment updates and all this stuff and I'm like just taking notes just taking notes and uh, they uh, eventually uh, all right splint eventually found out that uh, I was not supposed to attend Uh, and, uh, so we got a, we got a thing from the head office that, uh, instructors were not supposed to attend these meetings and to stop sending instructors. The woman I went with, she's an instructor too. She was not, not management either, but management didn't want to go. And so they thought they could get away with sending someone to take notes. <laughs> Uh, which didn't work. We didn't, I, I didn't tell her anything. They just, uh, they eventually sent a email to the entire business that, uh, instructors were no longer allowed to attend. Which is fine with me, because I didn't want to get up at... <laughs> I didn't go to bed till 5 this morning, and that's what time I had to get up to go to those meetings, so... Yeah... All right, well, uh, I didn't get much accomplished. I haven't got a lot accomplished in the last couple of days of this. I uh, I don't know what is going on with my fighting ability. It's just gone down the tube since I lost that really good club. I totally just tried to pull back my crossbow. I forgot. Good thing I was aimed on him. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll get in here and we'll, uh, explore this set of buildings. And I think what I want to do now is, um, if we don't find anything next time, and there isn't a major update, I haven't looked to see when the next updates are supposed to be coming, then, uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to build a base. And we'll see about building a base, so. 
Alright, click like if you like, subscribe to be sure and catch the next one, and I will talk to you later.